Welcome back to ESPN News Desk. I'm Mike Spence with special guest Keith Sweet, our city councilman here in Jackson. And we were just talking about the, uh, the Amador County Museum, but more specifically, I'd like to, to uh, address the party itself and the celebration that's happening with the tailing wheel, with the tailing wheel park out there, Keith, because that's really where you're you're specializing in, and it's a big activity. It's well, it's a, it's a big activity. In fact, I just sent an email off a little while ago to our, our congressman and our state senators and uh, who are going to be, be speaking at that, that event. Uh, congressman McClintock will be there. Mm -hmm. uh, state Senator Berryhill will be there. Interesting sideline on, sen on State Senator Berryhill is that in 1973, the park was, a, was initially dedicated when they built the bathrooms and the information kiosk. And at that at that ceremony, uh, Senator Berryhill's father was our state senator right. at that time, right. Claire yeah. Berryhill, yeah. and he was at that event. So, so it's yeah. kind of a, kind of an interesting connection. Um, but we're going to the park will be open that morning at nine o'clock. There will be no parking at that at the park itself, but almost directly across the street from it is the Kennedy Mine Amphitheater parking, right. mm -hmm. and that's where we we will have part will some parking. Uh, special reserve guest parking as well as um, ADA parking. And for those people who require the ADA parking, uh, Chad Simmons from uh, Simmons Landscape has donated a couple of uh, low ATVRs or ATVs, whatever, that you can, will transport people to the park. Um, many people will not be able to, to walk up the steep hill. It's all been, it's being paved as we speak this morning. Um, and so we'll be able to use those to transport people up and down uh, uh, who need that kind of assistance. So don't stay home because uh, oh, you yeah, think it no, might be a problem. There, we'll, sure. we'll be able to get you up there. Mm -hmm. However, we hope that there's going to be lots of folks coming. Uh, we've got food donated by the Jackson Rancheria, a free hot dog lunch for five, the, the first 500 people that show. Oh. And uh, it's we, Saturday midday. It's Saturday, it's Saturday while the park will open at nine. Okay. Combined high school bands will play, uh, or a number of high school students will be playing from nine thirty to ten. Oh, come out early, good. Right at uh, mm -hmm. ten o'clock, the um, Boy Scout Jackson Boy Scouts and the Pine Grove uh, uh, Cub Scouts will be uh, doing a flag raising ceremony with uh, Jake Geedy singing the national anthem. Oh, perfect. Uh, at 10.30, the Feather River Band uh, begins to play, and they'll play for two hours. We'll take a break at 11, and we'll have some speeches. Uh, I've, they promised me they'll stay to between three and five minutes. Uh, Senator McClintock, Senator Berryhill, Mayor Pat Crew, Patrick Crew, right. mm -hmm. and uh, finish off with uh, City Manager Mike Daly, uh, talking a little bit about um, the park itself and the cooperation that, that got us to this point. Um, so for those hundreds of people who are coming, we are encouraging you to park at Mel's parking lot or at the county building on Court Street or at the Serbian Church on New York Ranch Road. I mean, I'm sorry, on Jackson Gate Jackson Road. Gate Road. Mm -hmm. There'll be balloons and signs at each of these locations because the Jackson Rancheria has also uh, given us a bus and they'll be transporting, making a route about three times an hour through those places. So you don't have to park at the park. You can park elsewhere. Right, right. And we're encouraging everybody to do that. Um, while that's all going on, uh, there will be the Amador uh, Central Railroad uh, group will be there with uh, Iron Ivan and, and uh, our model. The uh, Historical Society has a booth. The Save the Wheel Committee is selling Save the Wheel buttons. We're still raising money. We still have other projects to do that aren't funded by the grant. Um, we'll have uh, some Rotarians there uh, working, um, moving people back and forth. Um, the food is uh, hot dogs and beans mm -hmm. and uh, uh, potato chips and water and, and whatever. A lot of people taking part in that. Right. In Mount, this, the uh, Mountain Men will be demonstrating. Say, yeah. You can look in the Mountain Men hut. Many people have driven by that for years and oh, never, yeah. never yeah, had they're... a peek to peek inside. <laughs> uh, they'll be doing an axe throwing demonstration. Oh, great. Uh, the fire truck will be out there. Oh, great. Gold panning, five bucks, and you'll guarantee to get gold. Uh, some of the younger kids, maybe even older kids, might want to braid a 25 feet of rope. There's, that's a kind of a tricky, fun thing to do. And then um, uh, Tom Onetto, um, or Dennis Price, has created a, a uh, uh, Kennedy Tailing Wheels branding iron. Oh, nice! Yeah, those and are uh, Tom Onetto's fire donated a, a, yeah, nice a branding pot. Oh, great. No, and Dennis Price has cut the wood, so for oh, free you can 
you can brand something of your own, or you can brand the wood that we've I love got that there. Kind of thing. Yeah, that's great. And uh, and it'll be a one of a kind because the the, the brand will be donated to the museum. So oh, I'll have to have, uh, bring uh, uh, bring a piece where I can. Right, uh, the city manager is going to take his leather bound, uh, leather covered, uh, eight and a half by eleven yellow pad, you know, notebook. And he's going to try to, try to sear that. Try to sear that. <laughs> I'll bring so, a day planner. Yeah. <laughs> so all those activities are going on. We got the uh, we got uh, gunfighters and and uh, balloon makers. You know, animal balloon makers. A uh, 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 lot, so, lot going on. You know, you and then the, and then of course the big attraction will be the wheel itself. Right. right. You know, the huge facility. Um, when it opens to the public at one o'clock that afternoon, everything will move everything out. And then the park is open every day. Um, People will be able to drive up and park yeah. uh, uh, up and down at their leisure from when 9 to say, 5. Uh, when you say cooperating groups that, that made this happen, you know, we were just <clears throat> over at the new transit center on Sutter Hill this morning, you know, and, it, you know, Caltrans plays a huge part in these things. And I, I grew up with Caltrans in San Francisco, and you mentioned Caltrans here, there, but you never really think about it. And they played a huge part in the new transit center. And uh, I understand they, they played a role in the... Um, the Kennedy Park as well. Why don't you tell Absolutely. us? Absolutely. Um, this this would not have taken place without the cooperation of Caltrans. Um, the money that we use, the five hundred ninety six thousand, um, came from a, a a grant that's administered by Caltrans. But all of these grants, particularly when you're doing a, a project like this, requires an environmental study, and then it requires engineering studies, right. et cetera. What happens is that the cost of those studies sometimes, and in our case, would have exceeded the cost of the project itself, yeah. the, you know, the, right. the building we wanted to build. Right. So unless we could reduce those costs substantially, um, this project was going nowhere. And we had a meeting with Caltrans, and we asked them to look at uh, a previous environmental study that we'd done an, a few years earlier. Nothing had changed there. Uh, I don't think there was a new weed in that time frame, but it was outside the time frame of normally accepted of an, of an environmental study. Right. They uh, agreed to look at it, and if if um, they could, they they would um, um, reduce the cost of the environmental study, and they did that within a three-day time period, oh, okay. which was you know it, normally it would be three to. Nine months. months. Yeah, right, right. But we were up a, we were up against a deadline of having to apply for the grant. So, bottom line is, they looked at it, they said this looks good for us. We'll accept it. It was it was uh, unprecedented, and um, so we were able to reduce our our costs from one hundred and fifty thousand dollars for that study down to like seven thousand dollars. So. That Big put us over the board. A huge difference, and so that that kind of cooperation. And then uh, there's other things that have gone along the line. We've had to go through a whole different. There's a lot of pushing the paper on grants, and they have facilitated the movement of that paper flow um, exponentially for this particular project. And and have, as a result, other folks are encouraged now to apply for some of these programs because Caltrans has kind of streamlined their process for this particular kind of grant. Well, a so lot of things have to fall into place. I know. You know oh, so many things had to projects. fall into place <laughs> for this. I mean, we've had Beautiful. we've had good, perfect storms about three different times on this project, and uh, that was one of them. Uh, so we we give a big shout out to to Caltrans. There's been hundreds of other people who have who have. Volunteered. I mean, Been involved in just it. just this morning we were moving things at 5:30 this morning, moving bits of uh, steel from you know a, a, an old skip and some gears from the Kennedy mine over to Vista Point, and then over to also some additional pieces to the Wheels Park, and that was done because uh, uh, Ron Reagan volunteered his time and his equipment uh, to move that. We use city personnel as well. But as a private citizen, you know, he, he volunteered that. And he's only one of many people over the last three years that have done that. Well, this is going to be worth celebrating out there on June 14th. Um, the wheels on June fifteenth. On June fifteenth, I keep going. I keep going to the turn wine that, party. Turn that card over. That wine, wine party is the fourteenth. First date is June fourteenth, <laughs> and then we'll get to the, the park uh, the next morning. There we go. Not too early, uh, but the uh, 
the wheels themselves, you know, that's number four out there at the Tealing Park. But the other three, are they, they're different in size? They're all locations. exactly the same. Oh, are they the same? They're all exactly the same. The process was uh, very simply a wooden flume, and it went from the Kennedy uh, stamping mill area below the Kennedy head frame at the Kennedy mine. Uh, this long flume that went down and it went to the bottom of wheel number one, which is uh, at the, you know, as I said, mentioned earlier, it's right there by the, the uh, Kennedy uh, Amphitheater uh, driveway. Um, and it dumped its, the tailings. tailings mm -hmm. Now remember, the tailings were, were ground roughly to the consistency of talcum powder and then mixed with water. So it was a kind of a slurry that moved fairly fr freely. And it went down, and then it, on, as the wheel went around, it, the wheels inside of the wheel is basically little buckets. There are 216 of those buckets. The water dropped into those buckets as the wheel turned. It turned about 18 times a minute. And then when the, when the buckets got up to about, oh, say, 11 o'clock, then the way they were configured, the water would spill out. Mm -hmm. And it would spill out into a, a box, which was at the end of the next flume. And the next flume went to the bottom of wheel two, up, bottom of wheel three, up, bottom of wheel oh, four, and okay. then All down. All working together. So okay. each, time it, each time the wheels turned, they raised it 42 feet. So essentially, the, the problem they had was getting the tails away from the mine, and the, they had to get it across two hills. To do that, they had to raise it roughly 160, 170 feet. And they did that with these four wheels. Oh, that ties it together for me. Yes. I kept thinking, well, why this location and that location? You know, I thought they were individually separate. I didn't realize yeah. it was all interconnected. Many people thought them as water wheels. Well, they're water wheels only in the sense that they're moving some water liquid in. water, right. you know, up uh, 42 right. feet every time. Well, that's been insightful. I appreciate you coming on. Keith, tell us, you have a big family here locally in Amador County? Or? Uh, I have really? my uh, son and daughter-in-law and three grandchildren in Sutter Creek. Uh, my wife and I, of course, live in Jackson. And then my other other daughter and, and husband live in, live in Emeryville. Well, it's terrific to have you on the city council here in Jackson. And, uh, well, it's been fun. Know, I've been on it uh, part several of these times. Projects and, you know, you really are the right person for the job. And we want to thank everybody for viewing today. And please stay tuned to more TSPN TV programming. You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN.